Do you ever wonder which AI you should actually be using? With so many choices, it can feel a little overwhelming. I mean, there's Grok, there's Claude, there's ChatGPT, and there's many others. Today, we're gonna break down the big three so you can know which one is right for you. This is AI for Everyone. Welcome to AI for Everyone, I'm Joel Kamm. And if you're new here, this is the show that makes artificial intelligence simple, fun, and useful. And before we get started, it'll really help out if you hit the subscribe or follow button and give this a like that tweaks the algorithm and lets others know that you found something interesting and maybe they should watch it too. Also, I've put together two free resources for you, the Beginner's AI Starter Kit and the Top 10 Things You Could Do With AI even if you're over 50. Check the link below, you can get them free right now. Let's get started with the most popular, ChatGPT. This is kind of like the household name for AI. You can sign up at chatgpt.com. The free version gives you GPT 3.5, which is really great for everyday questions and answers, for trip planning, for writing, and for creative fun totally free. But if you want to unlock more, then you're going to need ChatGPT 4.5. And of course, by the time you see this video, they might already have a newer version out, but that's okay. The paid versions are about $20 a month and they're smarter. They have longer memory. They can handle images and they've got more advanced reasoning as well. I want you to think of ChatGPT like your friendly, helpful neighbor. It's always polite and ready to lend a hand in whatever you need. But if you go ahead and spend on Plus, then all of a sudden that neighbor speaks five languages and can make gourmet meals for you. I currently pay for this. Next up is Grok. It's spelled G-R-O-K. It's from XAI and Elon Musk. So this is Elon Musk's X that used to be Twitter and now Grok is part of X. So if you wanna access Grok, you're gonna need an X premium subscription, which if you're on X, then you're probably gonna to wanna to pay the $8 a month anyhow so that your posts get more exposure, but now you'll also get access to Grok. If you upgrade to Premium Plus, which is about $16 a month, then you can use Grok Pro. It gives you faster responses and some more advanced features as well. But here's one of the really cool things about Grok. You can literally type at Grok into a post or reply on X and it will trigger the AI to give you an AI powered response in real time. This is something that no other AI does. Now the personality of Grok is a little snarky, it's sometimes witty, it could be a little edgy. Uh, it's kind of like that friend who's got a hot take on the news and sometimes they're brilliant, sometimes a little too much, but it's always entertaining. I am also a Premium Plus subscriber. And the last of the big three comes from a company called Anthropic. Its name is Claude. It's uh, not as famous, but it's a really good option, especially if you're new to AI. So the free version gives you access to Claude 3 Haiku. It's a lightweight, but a pretty powerful model for basic everyday use. If you wanna use Claude 3 Opus though, it's gonna cost you $20 a month. This is their smartest model and it has deeper reasoning and bigger limits for you. Claude is really good if you wanna upload and summarize really long documents. Even entire books can be uploaded for Claude to analyze. Personality-wise, Claude is calm, thoughtful, gentle. It's kinda of like the wise librarian that never makes you feel silly for asking a question. Full disclosure, I am not currently a Claude subscriber, but I do use the free version. So how do we compare the three of these and which one is right for you? Well, that's gonna be completely up to you. If you want versatility and creativity, then ChatGPT is probably your best bet. If you want real-time news and a little bit of sass with your AI, and if you're already on X, then check out Grok. And if you're looking for a patient, thoughtful assistant that can handle really large documents, then maybe Claude is your guy. And here's the truth of the matter. You don't have to pick just one. All three have great options. So you can go ahead and experiment with it and see which one vibes best with you. You're not gonna break anything. There's plenty of other AI services that I'm gonna cover in future episodes, but if you've enjoyed this breakdown, then please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and share this episode with a friend. It really helps to get the word out. Also, don't forget to grab your freebies. Go to aishow.io forward slash free. And to make it really easy for you, I've created a short link that has all of the show notes and links 
for this episode. Simply go to aishow.io forward slash four. Why four? This is episode number four. And if you get that in your mind, you'll realize that we're going to do this for every show to make it easy for you to find that episode. As always, you can find AI for everyone on YouTube, Rumble, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Thanks for listening. And remember, AI is for everyone, including you. Beep boop.